Just let me be great. So what's up y'all, I'm AJ Simmons and real quick I want to tell you how you can start a cleaning business from scratch, step by step. I know usually I do the franchise, but today I want to tell you how you can start from scratch, alright? So the first thing that you really want to do is get legal, okay? So you can either do sole proprietorship, you can do an LLC, or you can do a corporation, but that's the very first step that you want to do is file your business entity type, alright? Um, if you want to figure out how to do that, just do a Google search of secretary on Secretary of State and then type in your, your state name. So for example, Secretary of State Georgia or Secretary of State Florida or whatever uh, state that you're in, just type that in and that'll tell you how to register a business entity with your uh, for your company, all right? The next thing that you wanna do is get a, a federal EIN number in order to be legal. So after you file and get that name set up and get your business name filed and everything, then you go to irs.gov and get your free tax ID number, all right? Don't pay anybody to get a tax ID number. You can get it for free at irs.gov, all right? So now that you got those two things, you can go start a um, you can go start a business bank account. So open your business bank account. That way you can get your debit card. You want that as early as possible because all of your business expenses that you have, you want to track those. And the best way to track it is through a, business, uh, um, a bank account statement, all right? So you want that bank statement so you can track everything. You want that debit card. So every time you pay for something, you want to track that, all right? It makes it easy on your business taxes and everything, all right? So that's step two. Then the next thing, and then after at this point, you can go ahead and get your business license now, or you can wait till later when you get um, uh, start getting your customers, all right? And the business license, you get that through your city, all right? The next thing that you want to do after you get legal is um, go buy your supplies. Now that you got legal, now that you got a business banking account, and everything, go ahead and order your supplies, all right? Whether you go to Lowe's and get all your supplies, whether you go to um, to like a, a distribution center in your local area that sells janitorial supplies, or you can go to my website to order them directly from me. I have a starter kit that includes all of the pack, all of the uh, tools that you need, all the equipment from vacuums, backpack vacuums, uh, microfiber rags, uh, mop, everything you know i mean the whole list so if you if you're not sure what to get what supplies you really need you can just go get them from my site aj simmons online um dot com all right so check that out and if once you get on the aj simmons online just click the shop tab all right i think it's shop or something like that but anyway so after you get your supplies and everything then you want to order your uh marketing material whether it be business cards flyers or make them however you choose to do it and then also make your admin material your uh your forms all right, because once you get, because once you get your marketing material and everything, you start passing out these business cards. Um, you want to make sure that you got your ducks in a row because if somebody interested and you don't have the proposal form, or if you don't have, um, you know, the 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 um, like acceptance agreements and and all that type of stuff. How to how you don't know how to do that thing? You're gonna you're gonna look crazy when you get out there. All right, so make sure that you got the paperwork straight. All right, at that point. Then uh, after that, you want to go ahead and start looking for accounts. So you got your marketing material, you got your business cards, you got your supplies, you ready to go. So if you get a customer today, you ready to start. All right, so go ahead and start going door to door, passing out your business card, passing out your flyers, meet people. Don't just let the gatekeeper, they call it the gate, gatekeeper when you go to the, biz, the building and the secretary sitting at the front desk and she tells you that, um, oh, we're not looking for anybody now, we're happy. Don't let the gatekeeper stop you, all right? Just... Ask for the person who's in charge of hiring the cleaning company. Try to get that person's business card and follow up with them later with a call, all right? Because you're probably not going to get to that person directly with the first time you go in there. But if you can get a name and a card, then you can give that person a call, tell them who you are, and start to build a reputation with that person. Try to get familiar with that person, let them know who you are, all right? All right, so then after you go door to door, you can also do um, direct mailing. Some people do that as a marketing um marketing technique also um you can pay for uh things like a uh, home advisor and stuff but home advisor usually finds more leads for residential accounts versus commercial accounts so if you're looking to do commercial actually clean buildings and offices and stuff like that then home advisor might not be the uh path that you choose to go however i did have home advisor for a little while they did find me a couple of leads and, and i did close on one of them so uh, you can take a chance with that, all right? And then the last thing that you want to do after you get some customers, after you get at least one customer, then you can go ahead and get bonded and insured, all right? Um, 
I do have videos on here where I teach you more in depth of how to do each one of these things, how to actually go door to door and grow your business to find more customers um, and what insurance you need. So when you get a bond, I usually like to say, let's do $50,000 in bond coverage, all right? Because what the bond covers is theft. If you or you, well not you, but if your employee or anything steals from an account, then um, you have that bond coverage to cover anything that was missing, all right? Then you also want to get uh, liability coverage. Uh, you can pick your minimums however you want to pick them. I probably will say do a million dollars in coverage, but it's up to you how much you want to do. All right. And, and it's not that expensive. Liability coverage isn't that expensive. And then the final thing is if you're going to have employees, get you some workers' comp insurance. Um, look at your state's laws on requirements for workers' comp in your state, and that'll determine if you need a workers' compensation insurance or not. If it's just you, you might not need it, all right? Or you can choose to get it on yourself. So it's, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. But those are the steps for how to start a cleaning uh, cleaning business from from scratch, step by step. So hopefully this was able to help. If you liked this video, click the link. I said liked it. I mean like, if you liked this video, click the link uh, to end. What am I talking about? Click the subscribe button, okay? Click the subscribe button. I got more videos on cleaning business as well as building wealth, as well as um, the cleaning franchise, everything, all right? So entrepreneurship, motivation, everything. All of that is here, all right? So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, also, check out my website, ajsimmersonline.com. Not only do I sell my starter kits up there, I also have other products that I sell as well as free products. And then you can also join my mailing list where I send out blogs and motivational stuff, all right? So make sure you check it out. Rock with me. I'm building wealth. I want you to build wealth with me. Let's grow together. Let's build. You know what I mean? And follow me on my entrepreneurship journey. Every day I, I blog and stuff. I'm posting my moves. I'm trying to help y'all learn from my mistakes as well as my successes. All right. So hopefully that helped you. And one last request. If you can add me on my social media, I'm at AJ Simmons online on all social media. Except Snapchat, which is AJ Rich Already 16. So thank y'all for watching. Subscribe and like and share and comment. And make sure you share these videos. If it helped you, it might help somebody else. So share. Thank y'all.